Hi guys, I'm Shannon from Skip To My Life. Today's a collaboration with Heidi Sambel DIY. After you've watched this video, click on the link provided and you'll be directed to even more wonderful summer DIY content. But for now, we're talking about all things lemon. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make your own decorative lemons for a fraction of the price you pay in stores, as well as give you a free lemon printable. So let's get going. When you're finished watching this video, click on the link below for even more great content from Heidi Sambel DIY. The first thing I did on this little project was clean my porch. I don't know if you guys need to clean your front porch as much as I did, but I had to give it a top to bottom thorough cleaning. And then the next thing I did was I chose three objects that I wanted to work with. One was a terracotta pot, one was an old box for long playing records, and the third was a pair of boots. I started with my terracotta pot and I just used some painter's tape to divide it into wedges. Now the key to this is to make sure that you have them cross the middle of the bottom of the pot so that it comes out even on all sides. Then I use my little tool to smooth down and make them really tight to that pot before I spray painted it all white. Now here's the fun part. We get to peel off those strips and see those beautiful black and white stripes. That is so gratifying. Now I'm going for kind of a French flea market look for this, so I decided to put some polka dots on the top rim, and for that I used a grill aluminum sheet from Dollar Tree. These come two for a dollar. Once you've trimmed off those edges, you can use those in your garden if you'd like. Those will kind of scare away squirrels and bunnies and all those little pests, so don't forget to save those. And then you're just gonna use that little polka dotted grid to make a cute little polka dotted rim around your terracotta pot. Now, I am not a perfectionist on this, so I knew that I wanted to distress it. If you are, you're gonna wanna take a little bit more time to make these polka dots and stripes come out exactly perfect. I distressed this pot and saucer using some Waverly plaster colored chalk paint and just a dry brush technique. After I had applied some of those lines, I wanted to fade them a little bit. So I soaked a paper towel in water and just ran it quickly over that paint just to blur it. And I was really happy with the finished product. Our second project is so, so easy. I'm providing the printable below and all you need to do is print that out. You can laminate it. You can use the contact paper like I did here. I chose to cut it out along that circle, but you can leave it as is and just frame it. And then all we're gonna do is hot glue it to the sign that I found here. I happened to find this Buffalo check sign and I just thought it was perfect, but you can use whatever you have. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you decided to visit. If you're looking for an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I'm here for you at Skip To My Life. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit the like, thumbs up button, and also please subscribe to my channel. I would love to get to know you better and bring you even more great ideas. Okay guys, if you cringe at the thought of paying $13.49 for a bunch of fake lemons, or even if you're not ready to pay a dollar per lemon at Dollar Tree, here's a great dupe for you. I just use a three pack of those little plastic baseballs from Dollar Tree. Those will make a large size lemon. If you would like smaller lemons, I'm showing you both. You can use a ping pong or golf ball and those come nine to a package. Now all you're gonna do is take a little shopping bag, tie that tightly around the ball and knot it at either end. Once you've knotted it, you're gonna wanna cut off all the excess of that plastic and then the real fun begins. You can use a plain yellow napkin or yellow tissue paper, 
or I went ahead and bought these lemon napkins because they were just so darn cute from Dollar Tree and I just thought it added a little bit of texture with all the different colors. You're gonna wanna remove the backing so you have a very thin layer and then just use your Mod Podge and get started with that decoupage. For my lemons, I used about three layers of the napkin and then I let that dry for quite a while, about a day. Now this is my real lemon and you'll notice that on the ends it has a little bit of greenish brownish color so I went ahead and added some paint to the ends of my faux lemon to make it look more realistic and I uh, listed in my blog post the exact colors of those paint so if you click on the lemon principle you'll be redirected to all those instructions and all the materials for each of these crafts. To finish this off, we're just going to use a stem that was left over from some roses. This was a rose arrangement I had from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut one of those stems off and I'm just going to poke a hole under that tissue paper and I'm going to glue gun the stem and leaves very tightly to the lemon. Now don't forget, when you're finished watching this video, click on the link provided below for Heidi Samble's DIY Challenge. Our fourth project is a large decorative wreath, and for that you're going to start with a small hula hoop from Dollar Tree. Now these come in small and large size, and I also used one pool noodle, and you'll see I just cut that right down the middle, threaded it over that hula hoop, and then covered it with burlap ribbon. Now there is an opening at the top and with that I am going to attach some floral foam because that's going to be the area where our floral arrangement is going to sit and then I'm going to cover that with the green burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. You can see that I use scraps of my floral foam and this is a great project to clean up your scraps. And then I also use scraps of greenery just to fill in that space. This is really going to be a background, so there's no need to go buy some new things. You can just use up what you already have. I did use floral pins, which look kind of like long staples to attach that greenery. And then we're going to secure our welcome sign with the chenille stems. And we're going to make it really secure on there by using the top bracket to bind the top. And then we're going to glue gun a chenille stem on the bottom and cover it with a little leaf, let that dry, and attach the bottom edge of that sign. For me, this wreath is going outside, so I wanna make sure it's weatherproof and really secure. Next, I just filled in some of the back with these little white florals. They look kind of summery to me, and I got those at Dollar Tree also a while back. Comment below and let me know what your favorite fruit of summer is. Are you loving watermelons? Do you love fresh oranges? That's one of my favorite parts about this time of summer. There are so many great, luscious fruits to pick from. So let me know what your favorite is. Now the real fun begins because we get to start adding in those cute lemons we made. You'll see the larger softball lemons. I put one at the top and one at the bottom. And then I'm gonna fill in the sides with a bunch of three smaller lemons. I made these with the golf ball size from Dollar Tree. And again, all the materials for these crafts are listed on my blog post. If you print that printable, you'll be redirected to that blog post and all the materials are listed out. I was looking and looking for the color 
of yellow ribbon that I really wanted to finish off this wreath and I just couldn't find it. So I was looking around Dollar Tree and I saw this beautiful lemon color tote bag. Maybe you've seen it at your Dollar Tree. So I decided to make my own ribbon. I just cut the handles off and I cut off the top portion of that bag and glued the two different sides together and it made one long ribbon and I just love the way this colored bright yellow lemon turned out to finish up this wreath. I decided to repeat that buffalo check pattern in a bow and I put the yellow bow in front of it. If you all would like me to do a bow tutorial video, just let me know. I know there are a lot out there. I don't wanna be redundant, but I am happy to do one of those if it's something you all would like to learn. So just comment below and let me know, would you like a bow tutorial video? I spied this adorable metal mailbox at a boutique, but I just couldn't part with the money they wanted for it, so I decided to make my own. I found this metal box at a thrift store. This was used for long playing records. I don't know if you guys had one of these back in the day, uh, but I just spray painted it black. You could really use any kind of metal box that you have around your house or that you could find easily at a thrift store. This one is gonna sit on my front porch. Now, I have some friends, we exchange cuttings for our gardens, and I thought this would be a cute little box to have sitting out on my porch for when people drop things off. I know that a lot of us are not getting together socially, but my friends and I sometimes drop little gifts or little goodies off at each other's door, and I thought that this mailbox would make a really cute little drop box. As you can see, I used the Dollar Tree school stencils to paint the word mail on the front, and I just used white chalk paint to do that. And now I'm just dressing it a little bit with some gray chalk paint, as well as highlighting those metal fixtures. If you're enjoying this video, I sure hope you will hit the like, thumbs up button, and also please subscribe. I would love to get to know you better. This piece will be sitting outside, so I added little feet, which are just the tops from water bottles, and then I painted those black. Our last project is gonna be a pair of boots. These were old rain boots that I spray painted black with regular spray paint and the boots took it really well. Then I created a fun, unique bow by using the Dollar Tree lemon dish towels, cutting them into strips and gluing those strips with a glue gun to the back of my Buffalo check ribbon. This adds a little bit more body to that bow and also gives me the option to use the bow as a reversible element. That bow was a little bit top heavy and I wanted to make sure it didn't flop around. So I went ahead and used some duct tape and secured the bow to the back of those boots since no one's going to see them there. Once I tied my bow on really securely, I went ahead and duct taped the ends of that bow as well. So it stood up and it has no danger of falling down over time or in the wind. For my finishing touch, I just could not resist using the Dollar Tree Fresh Lemonade Outdoor Sign. I took it off the little rope and handle that it comes with and I put it on a yard stake and just stuck it in my cute little pot. 
Well, thanks for coming along with me today on my little lemon adventure. I hope you got some wonderful ideas. I had so much fun putting these together for you. Comment below and let me know which idea you think you might try yourself. Don't forget, click on the link provided and you'll be directed to even more wonderful summer DIY decorative ideas. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to get to know you better. Make it a great day and we'll see you next time. This is Shannon from Skip to My Life.